The Leatherman Surge is done, it's smoked, it's gone, it's a piece of history. Is it? Maybe not. This is the Die Camping DL30, and this will come in essentially an exact copy of the Leatherman Surge with some big differences, but you can definitely tell that it is a copy of the Leatherman Surge. So let's go ahead and start with price, $45. Leatherman Surge comes in $150, this is $45, and take a look at what you get for $45. You start out with a serrated knife on the one side, on the other side you have your main blade knife. This is 7CR17 steel, and then most of the rest of these parts will be uh, 3CR13, the handle's 2CR13, and the pliers will be 3CR13 as well. So that will be the metal makeup. Then what we have is we have a T-shank adapter. So this will be very different. Usually we don't see this on overseas multi-tools, but again, following the Leatherman Surge theme, we have a diamond file on the one side, and then we have a coarse file of sorts on the other side right here. So we can go ahead and put this back in. Very easy to take in and take out. It's easier than the Leatherman Surge, but my only concern is that I'm not sure if it's as secure, but it's definitely easier to use. Then one of the things you have end of the side of your kit will be some very long saw blades. Obviously, they can't close on the tool, but they are extra long saw blades so that you have one of the longest wood saws available on any multi-tool. We'll go ahead and put the diamond file back into place, close this blade up, and then take a look at the scissors. Now, one of the things to take into account in these scissors is direction is the key. So if you use the scissors this way, they will be the worst scissors you have ever used. Take a look at this. Wow, they don't cut anything. What an awful pair of scissors. Change them around and a miracle happens. They transform, if I can get this in here, and they cut amazing. So that is the key to using this pair of scissors. And I think on the next tool, Captain, that's what happened when I tested them. I used them the wrong way the first time. So opening the pliers, we find essentially a Leatherman Surge plier head. Very, very close very close indeed but you will notice it's a little different at the end it will come to essentially almost the same point they seem to work very well they've got replaceable cutters they've got crimpers at the bottom they're a very close copy to leatherman surge very close indeed now when we look on the inside we notice we have a quarter inch bit driver and what i love about this is that it's not using Leatherman proprietary bits. It actually is a full quarter inch driver, which I cannot stress how important that is to someone in the trades. Quarter inch bit driver, I think is a must for me anymore. So we have the uh, double-sided bits, and then we also have the bits that come in the pouch right here. Additional bits, we have Torx bits, we have safety bits as well, all kinds of different styles. And if that's not enough, you can go onto Amazon and buy Klein bits that will work with this. You can buy DeWalt double-sided bits that work with this. So you can find many, many different variations and styles to fit in this bit driver. And everything locks, both the inside tools, the outside tools, which is a huge plus for those in the U.S. Now on this side, we have basically all the tools besides the bid driver that the Leatherman Surge has just on the other side. We have the awl, we have two sizes of screwdrivers, and we also have this combo tool, which is the wire stripper, the can opener, and the bottle cap lifter. Now, one of the things I've noticed with this wire stripper is it doesn't do a great job on wires, thicker gauge wires, but I think this is made for thinner gauge wires. So for me, it would actually work better, but not so much for other people. So Leatherman, I was going to call this a Leatherman Surge, which essentially it is at a cheaper price and not as good metal. But the Die Camping DL30 for $45 for the extra wire cutters that come with this and the wrench and the screws to put them in with the extra saw blades, with the extra bits, with the pouch. The pouch is nothing to brag about, but it does store everything nicely on the sides. 
For $45, this is an amazing deal. Now, are there compromises? Absolutely. Is this a Leatherman Surge? Absolutely not. Is it as good? Absolutely not. But there are a lot of advantages to the DL30 die camping multi-tool. Now, one of the big disadvantages is, unfortunately, it is a copy of the Leatherman Surge. I don't think there's any way to deny that, but in some ways, they have done a better job than the Leatherman Surge with a quarter inch bit driver. The T-Shink adapter is easier to use. I'm still on the fence about how it's going to hold up, but just first impressions, it's easier to use. And overall, they have done an excellent job. The scissors hold up good. You have additional bits than the Leatherman Surge gets right out of the gate. So there are a lot of positive things if you can ignore that it is definitely a copy. Now, one of the negative things is that you do have these huge cutouts in the handles, but I would assume that the market will be flooded with all kinds of versions of this in the upcoming weeks and months. And I would imagine that that will mitigate that and we'll see we'll see maybe a Walmart multi-force version of this or perhaps a Felissa version of this. Who knows? All kinds of different... Uh, HX Outdoors or whatever it is, H, uh, GHK perhaps will come out with a version, all kinds of different brands. So this is at $45 again. I can't deny it's an amazing value. Now you do have the handles that are not made of as good of metal. The knife is a little bit better uh, uh, hardness of the metal, but definitely it is not a Leatherman Surge. So I will be using this. I'm going to start taking this to work, using it, see how it works for me. But with that quarter inch bit driver, that is definitely a game changer. And with all these bits included in this set, everything like this, I think this right now is an amazing budget option. Is it ethical? I'll let you decide about that. Is it a good deal? Absolutely.